ko na yung gulong gulo po ako. Sabi ko, bakit hindi <laughs> nakanda ko? Hindi ko naman tupid na siya po to. Pero nag-do-wait the flow lang po ako kasi siyempre nakakahiya naman po mag-low. Siyempre, right. hindi po ako po. You're not no person way. anyway. Yes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. And before I disappear from my break, let me get my full SB19 fix. A very quick catch up on things that I've missed in the past week. Please have a look at the description below to see what they are, and I'm excited about this. Let's go. <gasps> deets. Show us the deets. This venue is so beautiful. Very, very like intimate. This suit and this color on him. So lucky, everyone is so lucky. Like, this was the event. Look at him, all eyes on him. This is fantastic. It's honestly such an important moment in his career, in our lives as well, because now we've got the full house. All of them have been through this and experienced this and been incredibly successful as well and received that love back as individuals, not just as a member of SB19, but as a complete individual and a complete artist in their own right. And also this was doubly special for Stell because he was announcing that he is now signed as an artist to Warner in his solo endeavours, that is. And uh, I think that's a really important moment for him and that should further boost his um, confidence. And I hear a little bit of like behind the scenes of what happened and the invites that went out and what they look like. And if I had received that email invite, I would just, cher even if I couldn't go, I would just cherish that, like that in itself. Like everything is so well thought out by Stell specifically because it's got his stamp all over it. And uh, everybody that was able to attend this and that was invited is just so, so lucky. Like you are in the presence of greatness. So much more to come from him and so much has happened in the past like week and a bit that like I, I need to go back and really focus on the release of Room, you know, and then the showcase. But so much has happened that it's, it's like a whirlwind, isn't it? Not only is so much happening for Stell, but the whirlwind that we are in as well. It's just crazy. Love it. So he's taking like direction. Oh. His voice in an empty venue. Oh. 
can I tell you what that reminds me of? And I always, always go back to that footage. Leia, auditioning for Miss Saigon. If you have not seen the behind the scenes of that, it's so wonderful because obviously they'd auditioned tirelessly and they had people in mind that they thought, yeah, we could go with them, but let's just give it one more round. Let's go around and see who we might find. And then they found Leia and you see this really young innocent looking Leia come in and she's very attentively sat by the side of this piano looking and listening and you think really from a very judgy perspective what is she even going to be able to do look at her face she's so innocent she looked so inexperienced and yet she heard that the tune once and then she sung it and it was like magic it clicked it fit and that is the feel that I'm getting from this moment here. I feel like, of course, Stell has worked tirelessly for many, many years to create a name for himself in the industry. But now he is ready to go solo. And now the opportunities will find him. And he's going to be unstoppable. I feel like this is that turning point performance for our Stell. <laughs> Look at David's face. Like the rehearsal is one thing because he didn't think that he was going to be singing it and he was giving it a go and also he's being given direction. He was also pre preserving his voice because he had already three big songs that he was going to sing. And then at the performance when he goes for it, I love to see the reactions of the people around him. Like David knew he was good, but did he know that he was this good? Like it's just such an amazing moment for Stel. And I, I think this is always going to be that moment that, like many others, that would just make me cry and feel so emotional about the human being that Stel is and the talent that he is and that everybody is going to find him quite soon. <laughs> Oh, he did? Okay. What was that content? Siguro dun yung pokok nakita. Right. And parang sinabi ko nga ni Araneta po mismo yung lumapit sa akin. Gusto nga daw po. It was meant to be. Yun lang nga. Pero nung nagpatala sila ng inquiry, sinabi ba nila kaagad kung ano yung gusto nilang kantahin ko? Wala po. Wala pa. Sabi, any song naman daw po pwede ko po ito. So, nung tinanong po namin, paano po yung setup ng performance ko? Sabi po nila, open act lang po. Okay. So, nag-prepare po ko ng three songs for the album. Yung po yung All I Ask, then yung debut single po na room, and then yung Defying Gravity. Okay. Tapos, um, yung All By Myself kasama doon. Doon na po. Oh. Wala po sa plan mo. <laughs> Actually, ito po yung funny na story. Okay. During rehearsal po, pinakit ako sa stage to practice my three songs. Pero nagulat po ako, nag-rehearse po si Sir David. He seems so, in shock talking, talking about it. Nag-rehearse siya, so mamaya po po, kustan kaya. Pero nagulat po ako, tinanong niya, kung sa ito na pa yung ears ko. 
Actually, may video po ako yun. Siguro po post ko po siya anytime soon. Okay, okay, so, okay. sabi niya, do you have your ears on? Sabi ko, yes. So, do you want to try this song? Tapos ako sabi ko, what song? Sabi niya, all by myself. Tapos sabi ko, oh, am I going to perform this song tonight? Okay. Then sabi niya, yes, we can try. Tapos parang ako nagulat nila ako, napatingin po ko sa mga tao. <laughs> Tapos parang, kasi lahat po kami walang idea okay, na gano'n. Okay, okay. Pero sinabi po sa amin nung show director. He's different. Po talaga si yeah, yeah, his shows are so different like this. So yung lineup ng concert niya, binabago niya yung, ano, yung pagkakasunod-sunod, right. binabago niya yung songs. So, right. Kung magustuhan niya kung feeling niya, paano mapapaganda yung, yung flow ng Which is why this is right. such a right. big Nagano deal. Nagano po kami yung in-offer niya. Tapos pinractice po namin siya, pinlay niya, pinakanta niya lang sa amin. Pero ako, nung <laughs> You're not a no person anyway. Back in the zone. It went better than well. Yes, po. Nakapag-open up po ako. Okay. Tapos tinabalik ka na lang. So, after po ng three songs ko, mas kinabahan po ko kasi random na po yung dami na pong tuwata ko sa isip ko that night. Sabi ko, hindi ko na po alam. So, dasal na lang po ka ng dasal. Lapit po ako ng lapit kay Coach Brenna. Nakapatulong ako. And then yung buong team talagang tinahay po nila ako. Pinaparamdam nila na 100% support ko sa isang. Nakadagdag pressure ba na bago ka kumanta, pinlay yung interview ni Celine? Everything added to it. Sobrang pressure po ako talaga. Actually, hanggang ngayon po, pagka nakikita ang videos sa social media, iniisip ko, ano ko nagawa ito? It's because you're capable of it. Yung sinabi niya po kasi yung pinakakinabahan ako na still you only get one chance to try this. Sinabi niya? Sinabi niya po yun before ko po ito. Oh, the show or backstage? On stage. After ko play yung video ni Sydney Missilendio, bigla niya sinabi, okay, my friends, Del, this is your only one chance to try this song. Yeah. And you nailed it. So parang na-challenge po, na-challenge po. You nailed it, Del. Sana po, sana po, ang nagustuhan po, sana naging proud po yung mga kababayan natin na nagunood natin. Oo. Wala po kayo nangisip that time eh. Sabi ko lang nangisip ko, basta ma-deliver ko lang ito ng tama yung hindi po ako mapapahiya. Yeah. Hindi ka naman napahiya, Estelle. Actually, nagkitrend ka buong umaga ngayon. Ano bang reaction mo nung nakita mo nang nagkitrend ka na? She just makes you want to burst into tears, please. After po ng performance, may mga nag-interviews na rin po. Pero sobrang lumulutang po talaga yung utang ko. Yeah. Sobrang lutang po. Wala po akong ibang maisip kundi. Ang like, after po mag-perform, nilapitan ko po agad yung coach niya. So, coach, okay po ba yung ginawa ko? Kasi sobrang kabado-kabado po talaga sa MJ. Hindi ko po alam po na-deliver ko po sa yung tama. Kasi yung ginawa ko lang po noon, talaga hinawakan ko yung mic, kumanda lang po. That's what you've always done. Talaga nakatingin lang ako kay Sir David. Kumakanta lang ako, pinapanggap ko po yung piano, right. yung banda, yun lang po talaga. So, Grabe. wala po akong idea sa nangyayari sa paligid, but I'm very honored and I'm feeling blessed po sa opportunity na binigay sa akin ni Lord, binigay sa akin ni Sir David. Totoo po pala yung sinasabi nila, no, na parang always be prepared kasi hindi mo alam yung opportunity na dapat po sa akin. Yeah. It's really so strange hearing him talk about it. I think it still hasn't sunk in what's happened. He'll probably go and watch like fan cams and see people's reactions to it. And then he'll start to really like digest what happened and what this means. And it's so weird because SP19 are so big and they're, they're very established. And yet it really felt like an audition. Everything that he said about room kind of came to fruition. It just happened before our eyes and so close as well that you can draw like direct comparisons. It's honestly like, it's a bit creepy. It's a bit laughable. And uh, I'm just so incredibly proud of Stowe. And I bet everybody else was so proud. The team, the other members, I bet they just showered him with so much praise. And I'm just so excited for everything and for him to like really like come to terms with what happened as well and for what the future is going to hold as well. It's just such a great opportunity and so much feedback and so humble. Listen to him talk about it. So they were called back out impromptu for an encore. <laughs> oh. Listen to everyone. 
singing. Pablo. Everything about Ken in this event is utterly illegal. I'm surprised none of them performed solos at the festival. I thought that would be really great. No dance break. Oh my gosh, that footage from the front. Let's go still. Killed it. <laughs> Did that go in Justin's face? Not quite. I honestly can't get over a jar at this event. <laughs> Listen to those screams, absolutely deserved. It was one hell of an event. And this was my little catch up of stuff that I'd missed throughout the week and that I just wanted to refocus on so much has happened in the past five years. <laughs> past couple of weeks, months with SB19 and what a journey this is. Like, honestly, and I'm so grateful that I get to be on this journey with you and that we're all in this together to support each other, to cry together, to laugh together, to roll our eyes together. Um, it's just so incredibly fun. And do talk to me about everything that I included in this very quick mini catch up. I can't wait to hear from you. So that's it. That is my little SB marathon for June. I am now away for just over a week. I will be back on July 2nd and I will probably need to do a lot of catching up because I think there's going to be a lot that's going on in the next week or so, as there always is. And uh, we'll see what we can do to try and start that catch up at the beginning. Perhaps I won't get straight in with my marathoning. Perhaps I'll look to you to help me and uh, we'll see what we'll do on that first day back for me. But I'm really, really looking forward to it. Keep talking to me and I will keep talking to you too. Just know that I love and appreciate you so much. Everything that you do for me, that you do on behalf of SV19 and for making sure that I feel included and a part of everything, even though I'm so far away. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. I'll miss you. Bye.